Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to talk about the custom reporting feature and show you how you can use it to take reporting in pipe drive to the next level. Now, custom reporting is part of the professional pricing tier. With professional, you get more advanced reporting features like revenue forecasting and the custom reporting that I'm about to show you. So if you're on the fence about whether to upgrade to professional, take a look, uh, because in my opinion, this custom reporting feature, I think, is one of the main reasons to upgrade. I have found that the amount of data and the usefulness of what I get out of the reports in Pipedrive is, uh, has improved a lot since being able to run these custom kind of custom reports. Now, if you have any questions about anything I'm gonna be discussing today, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like help with Pipedrive setting up or optimizing your account or automating more of your sales process, then click the link in the description below to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options. Now to clarify, when I talk about custom reporting, what exactly do I mean? Well, to show you, let's take an example of a fairly typical report, deals one by product. At the moment, I'm showing any deal that was won this year. My x-axis along the bottom is just showing when they were won, so each month, and uh, on the y-axis, I can see the value of those deals. And then you've, we've got these segment options here. At the moment, I'm segmenting by product. So this kind of reporting is possible uh, on the essential adv and advanced plans. Now, an example of a custom report is where if I want to change my y-axis, Instead of using fields like deal value or the number of deals, with custom reporting, I can report on data from my custom fields. So you can see two examples here. One is budget and the other is commission. These are two custom fields that I have created. And when I have data in those fields, I can report on that here in my, in my insights. The other example is being able to segment or change the x-axis of my reports, again, using custom field data. So typically, if you're on essential or advanced, you can report and segment based on the uh, pipeline, the owner, the product, the stage of the deal, that type of thing. But again, with custom reporting in professional, I can use my custom field data. Now these typically have to be things like single option dropdown fields or uh, organization or contact based fields. Uh, if you have a custom field that's text based or multi option, it won't work with this. Only certain field types are supported. But this does give us a lot of options and power uh, and it really helps us to report on a lot more data in Pipedrive. So let's have a look at how to set this up. First thing I'm gonna do is go to my deals and I'm just gonna look at some of the deals that I've already won. So I'm gonna to go to my one deals here. And if I go to this Bruce Wayne, Wayne Enterprises deal, in my custom fields panel on the left-hand side, let's create a brand new field. Um, and let's say we want to report on the cost of goods sold. So I'm gonna customize my fields and down the bottom here, I'm going to add a new field and we'll call it COGS for cost of goods sold. And if I want to be able to report on this and have it be an option for my Y axis, this needs to be either a numeric field or a monetary field, because it's, you know, to have it on that Y axis, it needs to have some kind of value. So I'm gonna use monetary because it's cost of goods sold. So I can save that now and click done. And now if I put in my cost of goods sold, what's this deal, 18,200, let's just say it's $5,000. So I'm gonna use that for my Y axis. So that's an example of how I can add a new uh, numerical value that I can report on. Now let's look at adding a new attribute for segmenting my reports. So let's say, as well as reporting on the cost of goods sold, maybe I want to report on the manufacturer. Maybe I have multiple manufacturers. So I'm gonna have manufacturer here. And as I mentioned, this is best set up as a single option dropdown. Some other um, options are supported like person and organization. Um, but you will find things like text fields aren't, you, you won't be able to use that in custom reporting. Uh, date fields, actually dates are one that you can, you can do custom reporting based on as well. If you want to report on uh, maybe fulfillment date, we'll, we'll look at that example in a sec. So let's, let's just do for now a single option dropdown. Uh, and let's just say uh, company A and company B and company C. So those are my different manufacturers. Let's save that now. 
And actually, let's do a date one. Uh, or actually, I might just reuse a date. No, let's create a new one. Let's do um, shipment date. And now let's set that up as a date field. We'll look at using that in a custom report as well. So we'll mark those, we'll complete those fields and let's just fill them in. So there's some data here. So let's say we're using manufacturer company A and the shipment date is gonna be, let's just say it was last week. So I've got some of that, I've got those fields filled in now. Now let's head on over to my insights and I'm gonna create a new report. And because these custom fields were set up on the deal, I'm gonna use a deal performance report. So let's click continue. Uh, now, my filters at the top, I only wanna look at deals that were one. So let's look at anything that was one this year. And with my X axis, you should see now, here is the, here it is, the shipment date along the bottom. So that date field that we created is now an option that I can use for my X axis. So I can see how many deals uh, were shipped each month. Now, if you're not seeing these options straight away, I actually had to pause the recording of this video. It took a few minutes for these options to appear. Try logging out and logging back into your account. It, uh, but yeah, it can take a few minutes to appear. So now I've got my shipment date along the bottom. For my y-axis, I could now use the COGS, the cost of goods sold, and I can segment by manufacturer. So now I can see the cost of goods sold on my y-axis, uh, shown by when they were shipped, but using my shipment date field and segmented, these colors here show the manufacturer that it was shipped from. So this is a great example of a completely custom report using a custom attribute, custom dates, and a custom metric as well. Final thing I need to do now is just save this, give it a name, I'll put it into a section and I'll add it to my dashboard as well. That's just one example of a custom report. A couple of other useful, useful ones are here. Deals one, but I've segmented here by the deal source. So because I have deal source set up as a custom field, as a drop down menu with things like Facebook, trade shows, Google as options, I can now evaluate which marketing channels are working well, which of my deals are converting, how much revenue I, am I getting from different sources. That's a really useful one. Similar to the last example, here is uh, the conversion rate by source. So similar to before, I can see my sources along the bottom, Google referrals and so on, but I can see how those different sources converting. So I'm not just reporting on revenue, but conversion rate as well. Here's an example of reporting on commission. So on my y-axis, I've got my commission field and I've got along the X, uh, when the deals were won and I'm segmenting by owner. So I can see how many commission or how much my uh, commission am I paying to different sales reps. I actually have an entire video on this showing how to generate a report like this. So you can go ahead and check that out. And so there are a lot of different use cases for this feature depending on your business. We've worked with clients that have used this custom reporting for re reporting on things like um, freight cost. If we wanna track like what was the cost of delivery uh, similar to that cost of goods sold example. We've seen people track the number of pallets that were shipped and reporting on that kind of thing that helps them determine what stock to be reordering. Uh, we've worked with clients that have tracked things like the marketing UTM source. If you do UTM tracking for your marketing and tracking what sources and campaigns are driving traffic to the website and, and resulting in opt-ins and leads, you can actually have UTM parameters tracked. And I'll, I'll link to another one of my videos where I show how to set that up. So again, as I said in the beginning, this is a great example of how to get a lot more powerful insights and data out of your Pipedrive CRM. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.